Steve Morgan here, Fishing Monthly Magazines on a pretty exciting day here in Brisbane, in South East Queensland. I've got Stewie Smith with me from Yamaha and we have got an extension this morning of Yamaha's Hellmaster system. Stewie, what's it called mate? Why is it so exciting? Well it's Hellmaster EX, Morgo is what it's called and the exciting thing is it's expandable but single engine. So for years we've had people ask, I want to hold my boat on a spot and fish with one engine. We can now do that. So we're going to put you on the water today and show you how great it is. Yeah, so the, the whole system is, with digital steering on these motors, you can have a system which actually, in a twin engine setup, the outboards sort of work with and against each other to keep you in a spot, but the amazing technology is that single outboard. H how does Yamaha do it with one outboard? It sort of defies physics, doesn't it? It does a little, mate. Look, we've got some very clever engineers, obviously. We've made amazing engines for a long time. The electric steering is the key part to it, mate. And when you get on the water and understand how quick it can move and how silent it will move and how simple it is to put in the boat, that's where you'll probably see the benefits of it come through. Now, the expandability means you can start with a basic uh, helm and uh, and piston that's all digital. Um, what can you expand it to? What does the EX mean? Yeah, so picture the boat can arrive at a dealership or from a boat builder with the electric steering system fitted. Uh, and then if the customer chooses so, they can upgrade to autopilot or they can go all the way through to the joystick manoeuvrability kit as well. So it's a really great way to expand on the boat and that's where the EX comes from, I guess, the Hellmaster EX. Well, it sounds like the future of boating. We're going to do what we always do at Fishing Monthly. We're going to put it on the water and see exactly how it works. So we're out on the water now and it's going to be a great day to test this new system because it's a little bit windy. We've got one of the southeast Queensland winter westerlies kicked in so we're really going to be able to test out how this system works and this is the first part of the system. It's the DES, the digital electric steering barrel down here and have a look at it. It's working right now. Um, it's quiet and it's fast and the guys from Yamaha tell me this is a world first and it works with any of their motors. 150 horsepower upwards. This is the backbone of the system. Now, when you have a close look at this system, you might think there's some hydraulic lines coming out of it, but they're not. There are three cables coming into here. One is power positive, one is power negative, and this one here is data, and that's all talking to the system at the helm that we'll look at now. So we've had a look at the uh, at the steering piston, but now let's have a look at the other pieces you're going to need to get to the basic level of Hellmaster EX. And the first is a digital helm. There's no hydraulics in this, there's no lines to bleed, it's a full screw on and then plug and play setup. Second part of the system is this control box. Um, again, fully digital, there's not a lot of space behind that you're going to need to run, uh, to run cables and boxes. Um, the third part is the CL5 touchscreen Yamaha gauge here and those three things work in partnership to bring you some really cool features. Now let's talk about the steering wheel first. This is a fully digital steering wheel and when you're driving this boat it actually feels like power steering in a car but because it's digital there's several things you can do. You can actually customize the number of turns lock to lock and it could be anywhere between four and nine turns to be lock to lock but you can see how easy this thing is to move. It's really smooth and it's integral to the other parts of the system. So the next thing we're going to look at is this control box and, uh, and look Yamaha have had digital uh, controls for a while now but this one can do some pretty cool things. Um, it's a really small unit of course, there's no, uh, there's no cables or anything attached to it and the forward and f reverse gear shift really really smooth because it's digital. But once you're in gear there's some cool things you can do, there's a thing called pattern shift on here and if you're doing slow speeds like this you push the down button to activate it, it said that pattern shift is activated and then I can slow that speed right down, down to say I'm going to go 1.25 kilometres an hour and the motor will put in and out of gear to keep me at that speed. So if I set a speed which is slower than idle, 
the digital throttle is going to be responsive enough to make that happen. That's pretty cool. Some other functions on this control box uh, are a station button, which means if you have multiple uh, helms in a boat, you can switch between one and the other, say on a flybridge. And then you've got this one here called neutral hold. Um, if it's in neutral, I'll whack it in neutral hold. The kids can come down. Um, they won't be able to shift gear. It'll always keep it in neutral and they won't be able to drive off and throw you out of the boat. So some great safety features there as well. And of course, the third part of the basic system is this digital screen. Um, it gives you all the information that you would expect to be able to get out of a modern outboard and, and it's really intuitive to work. You know, you swipe across, it gives you access to all of the features that the Hellmaster EX offers. So one of the options for the Hellmaster EX is this, the EKS or electronic key system and it sort of gives you this push button functionality for your boat. Requires this little waterproof floatable fob uh, which you can pick up out of the water if you drop it in and it actually has a system if you lose this there's a code you can type in to get it going again but you can control the, uh, the start and stop uh, functions of your motor uh, and the main power at the press of a button. So that's the first level of the Hellmaster EX, but the next level up is the autopilot system. And this is a proprietary Yamaha autopilot. Um, I haven't used a lot of autopilots in the past, but playing around with this one, it seems really, really smooth. You can do pretty cool things, like you can, you can put a course in for it to follow, you can hold a heading, or you can navigate to a waypoint, and all of it happens at the touch of a button. Now, when you talk Hellmaster EX, EX stands for expandable. This is the ultimate, the joystick. And when you turn the joystick on, there's not a lot you can't do with it. You can drive the boat with it, put it in gear, you know, move it forward, move it sideways. And on a single boat engine, this is like a world first. You've always had twin and triple and quad rigs work really well with the joystick systems, but this is the first time you can do it on a single engine. But it's got buttons built on it for some really cool fishing features that I know you're gonna like. One of it's called Fish Point. If I hit the Fish Point button there, it acts sort of like a, a spot lock on an electric motor and it will hold position. And you can set through your system here whether it holds bum first into the wind or bow first into the wind. So at the moment, I've just hit the button and we are gonna hold position now on a GPS point exactly Exactly in the one spot and fishermen are going to love that. One of the extra things it can do, it can have, it's got a thing called drift point and what a drift point does is uh, I can drift with the wind but it will control the angle and the attitude of my boat. So instead of just having to drift, uh, you know, with the, uh, the outboard pointing into the wind or having to put out a sea anchor to pull your boat sideways, you can hit the drift point button and it will keep the boats heading as you're drifting along with the wind and current. And when you want to get really technical, it's got uh, it's got drift point track, which can actually sort of follow a GPS uh, a route during the drift. It actually happens, it can, it can happen pretty well, and it all happens with very little stress on the outboard motor. Intuitively, you might think, oh, the motor going in and out of gear, it's not gonna be good for your gearbox. Let me tell you, Yamaha have thought about all this, and no matter how many people on Facebook say it's gonna wreck your gearbox, it's not going to. It's really smooth, the gear transition, and the motor holding spot now, it's white capping now, it's hardly going above uh, 500 revs. It's sitting on 500 revs there right now, and we are holding position uh, perfectly. So for all the doubters out there, it's not gonna wreck your gearbox. So we've spent uh, a fair bit of a day playing with this Hellmaster EX system now, and let me tell you, there are a lot of features when you're talking about the full system. Um, first thing a lot of people are going to ask is what's the price? Well in Australian dollars from the full system from the uh, electronic steering right up to the joystick it's around 20,000 Australian dollars uh, but you don't need to go the whole, the whole hog and the fact that it is expandable means you can build on this system over time. Uh, for just the electronic piston, the helm and the control box costs around $8,000 and then as you add the autopilot and the joystick it goes up from there. Um, one thing to remember though is it's compatible with uh, the digital Yamaha outboard. So if you've got an old uh, cable steer Yamaha outboard, it's not compatible with that. It has to be compatible with the new digital stuff. Uh, also, if you're building a boat, um, remember that when you're putting this Yamaha system in, you're gonna be removing other components like a, like a, an aftermarket autopilot, um, like a hydraulic steering system. So that the price gap is probably less than you think. Um, also, make sure that you check with the guys at Yamaha to make sure your multifunction display is supported. There are a few brands that support it at the moment and that list will grow over time but uh, look 
you can see the system working here it's quiet it's great if you've got a yamaha powered boat and you want to go to the next level hellmaster ex it's the way to go